National Radio News. Hello, I'm Tracy Sorensen. Perth's eastern suburbs have been issued a bushfire emergency warning with six homes under threat. People living in the eastern part of Martin, in the city's east, have been told there's a threat to lives and homes. The Fire and Emergency Services Authority says if people haven't left yet and the way is clear, they should leave immediately for a safer place and take a survival kit. The authority says those prepared to the highest level and who plan to use their homes as shelter should start patrolling their properties to put out spot fires. Meanwhile, 400 firefighters continue to fight fires in the Margaret River region in the state's south Southwest, where 19 homes have been burnt. Conditions there remain hot and dry. There have been rowdy scenes in Parliament this afternoon as the government elevated renegade Liberal backbencher Peter Slipper to the role of Speaker. Labor's nomination of Mr Slipper to replace Harry Jenkins ends a long-held parliamentary convention that the government of the day nominates a candidate of its own for Speaker. The new Speaker says he'll resign from the Liberal National Party. Labor MP Anna Burke has been elected Deputy Speaker. An expert in the treatment of lupus says a new drug to treat the disease is a great step forward, but it's not a foolproof solution. The first new treatment for lupus in over 50 years, belimumab, is expected to become available in Australia next month. In Canberra for an Australia-France medical symposium, immunology professor Fabienne McKay from Monash University says future improvements will rely on effectively classifying the various subgroups of lupus sufferers. It's an important milestone in the treatment of lupus. It's the first time we have something new and different in over 50 years. Can we do better? Yes, I think we can do better. It will take a different approach to get something better and particularly understand the patients better and stratify the patients better. And now to sport with Sean Heenan. The AFL National Draft will be held at Homebush tonight with Greater Western Sydney to dominate the early stages. The Giants, who enter the AFL next year, have the first five choices with Victorian tall forward Jonathan Patton expected to be their number one selection. In football, Melbourne victory player Harry Kewell has split with his long-term manager Bernie Mandich, who had been with him since he was a teenager. The star's new agent will be former Argentinian World Cup player Abel Balbo. The announcement follows a tough period for the victory, who have seen management changes. And in tennis, Spaniard David Ferrer will advance to the semi-finals of the ATP World Tour in London after defeating world number one Novak Djokovic convincingly 6-3, 6-1. This is only Djokovic's fifth loss for the year. You're up to date with National Radio News. You're tuned to National Community Radio.